So here we're showing um, our CB22 chip and what we're doing is running neural network artificial intelligence mm -hmm. software on the chips uh, and what we're able to do is to classify objects, in this case cyclists, um, cars and this is for the automotive market primarily where, where you want to do uh, driver assistance. And here we have the pose detection. And then we have pose detection. And here colorization have, of the vehicle. Here we have free space detection, curb detection. Wow. And vehicle detection, pedestrian detection. And then here we have classification of objects. We can do many, many objects because of the power of the single flow. And the solution provides the capability of actually seeing the confidence level of the recognition itself. Uh, that's right. Because we are able to run out with this with very high resolution video and with high frame rate, we can get much more accurate results over a longer um, distance than, uh, than was possible uh, previously. Well, this is a company called Heller Aglaia. Heller Aglaia is a German uh, software provider to the automotive industry. Mm -hmm. So the software we're looking at here is for ADAS, for car driver assistance system. And they're running more than one uh, neural network. And this is, uh, in, this, in this case, they're running through. You can see they're doing free space detection, classification of objects, uh, including cars and people. And this neural network is running fully on the chip? It is running fully on the chip. In fact, more than one network simultaneously. That is fantastic. And then in this one, this is our new CB25 chip, which we introduced actually at the show on Monday. Uh, and this is a, a lower cost chip. The idea is that we will bring AI to the edge and security cameras at new price points. And here we're running a network called YOLO3, which is a, a well-known public domain network. It has the capability to classify multiple objects over here. It's picking up us. Plant, uh, person. People. It's picked up your tie, uh, a potted plant, uh, and it can classify <laughs> hundreds of different objects. That's wonderful. So this is um, uh, a partner, a customer of ours, of the board company, uh, the partner with called Clarify, which is a New York-based software company. Great. And what we're doing here in a retail environment is using a camera to create a heat map of where people are and how many people have been in particular areas of a school. So what you're using is the, the, the data um, for retail analytics. And you can use that, for example, to decide how many staff you need at particular times of day or if there are particular areas of the store that are popular or particular areas of the store which are unpopular and then you can decide whether you're going to change your exhibits. So we can extract a lot of data. One of the interesting things here is that the camera may not even need to send the video to the cloud. It can just extract the data in the camera. You can then use that analytics uh, information, but you maintain the privacy of the people coming into the store because it's not being recorded. That's fantastic. So you don't, it's very resilient. This is really impressive. This is multi-lane AMPR. This is a, a software company based in the Ukraine. Uh, they're running their neural network on our CB22 chip. And this is for traffic cameras. So what they're able to do is to look at cars. They can read the license plate and they can also say which car brand and model uh, the car is. So this would be great for you know, traffic cameras or for automatic um, you know, toll, toll collection systems. Over multiple lanes. Over multiple lanes, that's correct. So it's interesting. I just moved the moved the camera away when you had multiples, but this is great. Now it's showing multiple vehicle recognition. Just like this, this is really yeah, so this Very is, impressive. This is outside our office in uh, Shanghai in China. Uh, and again, this is from a third party software partner of ours called Pilot AI. And uh, what they're doing here is they classify multiple objects, uh, in this case vehicles and pedestrians. Uh, and again, the power of the CV flow processor gives them the capability to, uh, to classify and track. Uh, it's, dozen, a, dozen, it's amazing dozen, that dozen, cluster of vehicles is individually recognizing them at distance. Right. Great. So what do we have here? So what, what we're doing, we have a stereo camera here. Uh, and what we're doing, we're using that stereo camera to extract 3D information. 
And then what we're doing on this, it looks like it's thermal imaging, but it isn't thermal imaging. What we're doing is we're color coding the 3D image uh, by distance. So if I move closer to the camera, it's going to appear one color, and as I move further away, it's going to, to be a different color. And this is really just to give you some visual feedback about the depth information that has been collected by the camera. And then you would be able to use that in your analytics and computer vision software uh, algorithms. So you could do, use this for anything from entry screening? To retail establishments. Um, right? Retail establishments in particular, this, this demo, yes. That's great.